Good afternoon, everyone. It's Dr. Shiva Adure. The title of today's video is Black Cumin Seed Oil and Lung Congestion. So what is black cumin seed oil? First of all, it is known as Nigella sativa, very dark, rich black seed, and it's native to Middle and Southeast Asia, and it's used in treating various animal and health ailments. This seed is composed of minerals, vitamins, fatty acids, phytochemicals, and phytosterols. And there are 36 key molecules, very, very powerful. And it's really that black color, which tells you it's got a lot of minerals in it. So when you put it all together, you got 36 different molecules, minerals, vitamins, fatty acids, phytochemicals, and phytosterols. There are eight biological benefits of black cumin seed oil. It's anti-cancerous, anti-inflammatory, anti-spasmodic, anti-diabetic, an immune modulator, antiviral, antibacterial, analgesic. And the other health benefits are it affects many subsystems in your body, your lungs, skin, diabetes, your heart, asthma, liver health, digestive health, and brain health. So it's a very powerful tonic. If you look at the lung, the lung's got sort of the upper lung, lower lung, and we're using this to take the upper lung and say, imagine that that was normal. And the normal lung case, you have really, really clean. The walls are thin. You have a normal airway. There's no stuff in the airway. But when you get lung congestion, you have this green mucus as depicted here. The wall gets scarred and thickened and it's much wider. So you can see the difference here. So this is what we're talking about. We're going to be talking about how black cumin seed oil can help really alleviate this. What happens is the reason you get the mucus, it's the result of excessive blood going to specific parts of the lung. The mucus membranes become very inflamed and you get a lot of excessive mucus that blocks the different airways and obviously causes you difficulty in breathing, which is an awful feeling. The mucus and everything really becomes an ideal ground for bacteria leading to secondary infection. So anything we can do to break this down sooner obviously helps in a lot of ways. But now we want to go a level deeper and educate you at the molecular level what's going on when you get lung congestion. So there are five different pathways. One is called the arachidonic acid metabolism pathway. And that pathway is where your body produces arachidonic acid. The other is cytokine production via MAPK. MAPK K is a particular chemical. There's various ways you can produce cytokines, but we're looking at the cytokines that get produced through this pathway. There's also cytokine production through the NF kappa beta pathway. And then there's mucin production, quote unquote mucus. And this has a very different set of molecular mechanisms. And then when you get lung congestion, the muscle relaxation pathways are also involved. Your muscles aren't relaxed. In order to alleviate lung congestion, one of the variables that happens in the arachidonic acid metabolism pathways, there's a molecule called PGE2 that gets produced. This is not good. You want to lower it because that's one strategy. In the cytokine production via MAPK pathway, there's two cytokines, IL-1 and IL-8 that gets produced. And you want to lower that because you don't want these cytokines. They affect lung congestion. Same with the cytokine production via NF-kappa beta. There's two others, IL-6 and 8. We want to bring those down. Mucin-5 is the thing that really causes the mucus. And that's through the mucin production pathway. And we want to bring that down. And then the smooth muscle relaxation is MLCP. You want this to actually go up because when you have more of this, your muscles relax and you're able to breathe. Okay, first we want to begin by analyzing black cumin seed using cytosol. We want to integrate the current research. 2,900 research articles written on it over the last 55 years and there's been around 72 clinical trials. When you look at this, what we do with cytosol was we take all of that information relative to lung congestions and we distill all of it through this very nice process and we make all of that available to you and our goal is science by the people for the people. Imagine if you could actually understand out of all the chemicals that nature produces which could help you, let's say, with inflammation and pain. And we did that with Cytosol two years ago, and we wrote a lot of scientific papers on this. In fact, we got a U.S. patent on this recently. We've created a very powerful product. MV25 is coming from things like parsley and bitter orange. We've extracted two very specific ingredients which are very powerful for natural discomfort and pain. Hi, I'm Barbara Ann. My hands would cramp up so that I couldn't hold cards or knit or crochet, and they would go like that. Not have to use this when I played cards with my grandkids. And I'd start taking that MB25. After a bit, I was able to hold cards in my hand. Very, very little cramping, hardly at all anymore. MV25. Hi, my name is Sandy. I'm a Taekwondo instructor. I tore my ACL during Taekwondo. I had a lot of pain and limited mobility. I've been taking the MV25 for about six months now. After the first week, I noticed a big difference. After the second week, almost 
literally no pain. My name is Jeremy and I suffer from a lower back problem. Hurt my back at work years ago and I can go to the chiropractor, do all kinds of different things and nothing seems to help. And I decided to try MV25. I didn't notice a difference immediately, but within a few days the pain went away and it stayed away. I've continued to take it and even when I do things that I shouldn't do, it seems to go away a lot quicker than it ever did before. By the way, all the proceeds go to support our research and our movement. If you buy six bottles, you get six bottles for free. Please take advantage of it because first of all, it's going to help you. It's going to help our movement and it really supports the fact that we want to take science-based approaches to natural products. You can get MV25 if you go to vashiva.com right on the shop. You'll click there or you can go right to mv25.life either way. And then from there, you can click on the bottle and you can order. Now let's talk about the health benefits of how exactly black cumin seed oil affects lung congestion. So first of all, there are three molecular systems that we discovered that black cumin seed oil affects. It affects the anti-asthma effect, the anti-fibrosis effect, and the acute lung injury prevention effect. So that's pretty cool. So let's go into it. Remember, these are the seven compounds that we found from the cytosol work really affect within the seven of the 36. Limonene from black cumin seed oil ameliorates asthma by inhibiting eosinophil activation as well as inhibiting this. It supports the A2A receptor, which goes and knocks these two things down. Beta cytosterol from black cumin seed inhibits TGF beta and prevents fibrosis. Then finally, let's go to prevention of acute lung injury, which also occurs during lung congestion. Well, the wonderful thing about black cumin seed oil is boom, beta cytosterol will stop the Rig1 signaling way up here. So you stop the acute lung injury. How much should you take? This is what the current research says for chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. All us Zawis in 2020 came out 2,000 milligrams per day of black cumin seed oil, 2,000. Okay, that's basically two grams. The next is for inflammation, the one gram of black cumin seed oil per day. For anti-diabetic use, very powerful black cumin seed oil, one to three grams of seed per day. And for general immune boosting, 2.4 grams to 4.8 grams per day. So there you go. But the oil, you notice you have to take much less of it than the seed over here. We always recommend take organic versus conventional. Definitely take the organic because a lot of the conventional stuff has pesticides that link to lung, liver, kidney, thyroid toxicity, and a carcinogen. By the way, if you take oil, you know, the oil is going to have more concentrated amounts of these pesticides. So definitely if you're getting the oils versus the seeds, you should definitely take the organic version. So now the question is, is black cumin seed oil right for you? Well, black cumin seed, it stabilizes transport. So if you're coughing, moving, erratic, it stabilizes that. It increases conversion, which means you'll see it gets rid of the mucus and it stabilizes storage or the Kapha element in the Indian system, we call that the heavy element, like mucus. Now, if you have a lot of metabolism issues and you are already into a lot of conversion type aspect, you want to be careful how much you take, okay? So what are the issues to consider? If you're prone to skin rashes, be aware. Constipation, watch the amount. Or if you're prone to nausea, again, consult your doctor. But these are the things you want to consider. And by the way, check out if you see products with the clean and raw. We created an entire standard using the systems approach from Cytosol, where you focus on safety, minimally processed process and high bioavailability to create the clean and raw standard. So in summary, black cumin seed oil has four major things. It's going to prevent the fibrosis in the lung tissue. It's going to reduce asthma symptoms, and it's going to lower acute lung injury. All right, everyone, I hope this was valuable. Go to truthfreedomhealth.com, become a warrior scholar. It's a way you can contribute. You can support all the work we do. Go look at MV25. It'll support uh, your health. Be the light. Be well. Thank you.